The problem with Doja Cat is, I don't even think that she believes that it's a problem. And to me, that is extremely scary. Let's talk about it. Y'all don't know what time it is, I got the black bean neck on. Doja, Doja, Doja. Sister or half sister. We gotta talk. I don't even know if I wanna call this the Dear Doja Cat video because I've already done that when you was farting in the chat rooms with the white boys or the proud boys, whichever. Same shit, a blogger. Um, Y'all know I'm a big fan of Doja Cat. I actually have tickets to see her in concert next month. I've been excited about going. And Doja, you really got me contemplating giving these tickets away. I really don't know if I wanna give them away or just sell them to somebody at this point because you're turning me off. No Carrie Hilson. Like, you're turning me off. Like, girl, I have so many questions and I want to talk about it because I'm, I'm getting frustrated even discussing it. So recently, a couple of days ago, Doja Cat posted a picture with a shirt on and the shirt is a, I can't say it on YouTube, but y'all know it was a person who believes in certain things and let's say those things can't be discussed online. She had the picture, person holds and holding a pistol and um, Doja Cat posted on social media, posted on Instagram with her little tiara and you know her little eyebrows and whatever and she just like hey girl what's tea like just posting it and immediately she was getting dragged like folks were eating her up. Eating her up. So now she has cropped the picture out she posted the picture again she took it down and she put a little, little eye roll or something on it so Doja Cat is known for doing stuff, pissing fans off, and not caring about what the fans say. I remember asking this celebrity in um, this private discussion a couple of years ago during the, the pandemic that how are you able to tell the difference between a legitimate critique and hate? Because that's something that sometimes I have to struggle with. But what keeps me is that I have people who are in my circle who have a specific politic and will call me out private and if I don't respond to it probably will call it out public period um, and they hold me accountable like they will hold me accountable and to me Doja Cat not seeing this as an issue is just as bad as if she posted it on purpose because this is not something like you know, you did like, oh girl, like that was a mistake. This is you purposely posting this shirt on your Instagram. You took a picture, like you posted it on Instagram. You posted it. It, it, it wasn't like somebody caught you walking or you had it on at Target. You posted it. This was a whole thing you got and you, you took the picture. So, you're not telling me that you did not know. You knew something. You just didn't know how bad the reaction was going to be. You didn't know how bad the reaction was going to be. So now to me, this is becoming a critique on Doja's creativity because I want to believe that Doja Cat is creative to the point that none of this stuff is done necessarily for a reaction. It is done because this is my creativity, but this is giving me that you're calculated and you're doing things for reaction. And I don't understand because you're extremely talented. And I just don't get it. Like, I, ju I just don't get the need for you to post this. And why? Like, what do you get out of this? You don't have anybody surrounded or, or like friends who you trust, people who are in your, in your circle. You are a celebrity worth millions of dollars. How can you not have somebody on, on, on your side to say, hey girl, I don't think this is given. Like, no, I wouldn't post that. How y'all celebrities continuously do this? Y'all get, y'all take y'all trips, y'all y'all be in um, all types of parts of the world, spending money. Y'all be on private jets, but none of y'all have any friends who care about y'all to tell y'all, "Hey, girl, this ain't it." We've seen that right now during the Palestine conversation. Like the people who are in y'all circle are like, y'all need to y'all need to find some better friends. Y'all need to find better friends because the friends that y'all probably surrounding yourselves with are folks who are really just siphoning off of everything that you are out here achieving. They're surrounded with you because of your money and because of your access. Like these can't be your friends. 
there is no need to even like try to defend Doja Cat with this because there should be people in her circle who are telling her that this is not giving. And the fact that Doja Cat does not recognize this is not saying, you know what, girl, that, that wasn't right. Like, there's no excuse. There is no excuse for posting this. Absolutely not. You're not going to give me no damn Tinkerbell story and you and your damn tiara thinking you the princess and the damn frog when you acting like a dumbass frog right now. Now they got pissed off. Because this is, you already just got back from farting on white folks in the chat rooms not too long ago. A couple years ago, you was, you was doing that. You got out of that mess. It took you a minute to get out. Now you in some more mess. What's the, what's the tea, sister? We know you don't date black men. We, we know that. You got a whole song to my son. Oh, I don't talk to incels. We can't tell. You got one on your shirt. So what are you doing? And you're not telling me that anybody else like can survive something like this. There are other artists who could not even post anything close to it. The way Chloe got ate up for working with Chris Brown, the way they was chewing Chloe up real bad. The, the other black girls can't do stuff like this. They can't. But folks like Doja Cat, one of the many light-skinned mainstream female rappers can continuously do this because they have a significant amount of white followers who do not care. Who do not care. They, their, their parasocial relationships are on, on another scale. On another scale. They don't see any issues with it. Now, what's interesting to me about all of this is that it's so calculated to the point that y'all don't make this, this mistake when it comes to something else. There's never a mistake when it comes to hurting somebody else, another group of people. It's always towards black folks. Y'all get to make these mistakes when it comes to black folks. Y'all don't get to make the mistake. I, I You won't see Doja Cat post support Palestine. You won't see Doja Cat wear a shirt saying, oh, free the Palestinian people. You're not going to see that. You ain't going to see that. Which tells me that y'all, this is a joke. Y'all think it's a joke. Like, black folks in their lives are a joke to you. Like, it's a joke. Because y'all don't make these type of mistakes when it comes to disrespecting white folks. Y'all don't make the mistakes, even when it's not even really disrespecting white folks. It's just calling the thing a thing. But y'all don't do that. We don't see y'all doing that. Y'all, you're not gonna see them, like, you're not gonna see that. Cause they know better. So it tells me that you do have some sort of idea of what you can and what you cannot do. Because where did you find the shirt at? Where did you find the shirt at? You just shopping online. You, now, Doja Cat, is, from what I'm hearing, oh, I found this shirt at a, um, a, a, a some type of shop. Or what with the, the, the thrift shop girl? Please, Doja. You are not one of us. You are not a girl that's out here thrifting on your last $20 left of your check. Like, you are not walking down to the Starbucks at 2 p.m. after leaving work. Like, girl, please, you are not an ordinary person. You are a celebrity. You are a rich celebrity that is out here putting out music to make money. Stop kidding yourselves. I'm so tired of celebrities like Doja Cat. Oh, I'm just an ordinary girl. No, you're not. No, you're not. Because you will remind us with the quickness that you are not a regular person. Y'all celebrities are pissing me off because y'all have all this influence. All these people who are engaging in your, your artistry, your creativity, and then this is what you got to offer. This is what you got to offer. A uh, 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 hand-me-down Harry Potter look-alike holding a rifle. Like, are you serious right now? You can't be serious right now. You are serious. And that's the scary part about it. Like, girl, I like folks are trying to make a decision like, oh, well, maybe those are just trolling. Da, da, da. This is not trolling. This is not trolling. This is not that. Like, the trolling only happens and only accepted when it's harmful to black folks. Because y'all not trolling other folks with this type of stuff. Because y'all know better. And Doja Cat as disconnected to the establishment and everything else. And the man, I'm going to do what I want. I'm a creative. We should, we should be seeing Doja Cat out here saying some other 
stuff to be like, oh girl, she's right. But Doja Cat's not even using that to do it because she knows she can't. Girl, as much you want to pretend that you're not bald, you're very much bald. You're very much bald. So stop pretending to us that you're not. Stop cosplaying as a regular like person. You are bought. You are bought. As much as you want to cuss your fans out so you don't know them, and then one day you out here signing what's names for them and all that stuff, because you want them to buy into you. Because if you truly didn't care, you wouldn't be caring, but you do care. So stop trying to cosplay that you don't care. Stop cosplaying as you are a real, like, local artist down the street performing at a coffee shop or something like singing, doing brunch. You are not that girl. You're not that. You are a million dollar artist signed to a label and you're out here putting out content and creative stuff that has been eyed and, and watered down to make sure it's commercial enough for white folks to be able to enjoy. Stop kidding us, please, sister. Stop kidding us. Because you're not fooling any of us. So, like, Doja, I mess with you. I like you. I enjoy the music. But, girl, it's about to be turned off, to be honest. Like, it, it, like honestly, it's about to be turned off. Because I, I'm just I'm just really tired of playing games and stuff like with these artists who continuously do stupid shit. And like it's not other artists who are deserving of time and energy. And y'all out here playing. Y'all out here playing in our faces and it's not even no jokey jokey stuff. This is some dangerous rhetoric. And you don't see this as dangerous because like I said before, it harms black folks. So of course you don't see it as harmful which says a lot about you. I'm just tired, I'm just really, really tired, but tell me what y'all think about Doja Cat and this post and, and what y'all think about her and the shirt. Uh, also, she just did a um, Hot Ones interview. Um, very <laughs> interesting at the time of this because girl, it's giving PR cleanup. Like, it's giving PR cleanup because I don't think she thought the backlash was gonna be that bad. Um, girl, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Talk to you later, bye.